autonomous agents have been popping around in the year of 2023 with the hopes of achieving a step closer to AGI. We've seen this many times with different types of AI agents we covered on this channel with Super AGI, Auto GPT, as well as with Baby AGI. Now, while these pioneering projects have demonstrated potential in this direction, the journey to fully automate AI agents still presents quite a formidable challenge. Now, this is specifically with autonomy, where existing agents are bounded to human imposed rules, knowledges, as well as by biases. Then you have the inconsistent communication framework. And this is where there is a lack of mode of communication that leads to a potential misunderstanding. Lastly, you have rigid task management. This is where existing agents lack the flexibility in having high level task management. These are, these are just basically a handful of scenarios in which AI agents have this challenge. However, let me introduce you a new project called X-Agent, a solution to these challenges. An autonomous agent that is targeting the realization of complex task solving tasks in an autonomous manner. This is a project that is working to develop intelligent agents that are capable of mimicking human cognition as well as executing intricate tasks autonomously. Throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing what you can actually do with XAgent, talk a little bit more about the capabilities, showcase how you can actually install it, and going over basically in general what you can do with it. So with that thought guys, make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As we mentioned at the start, we're going to take a look at XAgent, which is an autonomous agent for complex task solving. XAgent is an open source project that utilizes large language models to drive autonomous agents so that it can automatically solve various tasks. Now, just note that even though it is designed for solving complex tasks, that doesn't basically mean that it's constrained to only solving complex tasks. It's designed to be a general purpose agent so that it could be applied to wide ranges of tasks, whether it is a complex task or just a regular task. Something to note is that this project is fairly new in its early stages, so keep that in mind as it was just recently released about yesterday. The goal of this project, as stated at the start, is that they want to create a super intelligent agent that can basically solve any sort of task that it's been basically given. It's in its early stages, so they're continuously working on this, but it's something that they're going to keep on improving over the months. So with that thought, let's now explore some cool features that are associated with XAgent so you can get some more like idea as to what you can actually do with it and understand some of the capabilities about XAgent. If you guys would like to access our private Discord in which you can get exclusive features such as our AI subscriptions to different types of tools for free, you have giveaways, you have different types of consultation for free. You have different methods of just interacting with the community, which can get you networking opportunities, daily news, and so much more. If you're interested in all that, I highly recommend that you check out the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content that I highly recommend would benefit you. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's get right back into the video. Now guys, as we mentioned, it's something that can help solve complex tasks in which they have worked upon in different categories. You have the autonomy in which it is a feature that Exigent can automatically solve various tasks without human participation. Now. This is something that we've seen with many different autonomous agents on my channel, where we've seen autonomous AI agents like Super Agent, as well as Autogen, as well as other ones that we mentioned, such as MemGPT, where you have multiple AI agents working together alongside with other agents to collaboratively solve a project. This is the same sort of idea that X agent is trying to accomplish. But the thing is, you have one agent that does this and it does it on its own without any sort of human participation. In terms of safety, we have X agent 
in which it is designed to run safely. All actions are constrained inside a Docker container, so run it anyways. Another feature is its extendability. XAgent is basically designed to be extendable, and this basically means that you're able to build upon this, add new plugins, add new models, add new tools, so that it enhances the agent's abilities. It makes new agents, it grows the agent, and it makes basically XAgent so much more like better in a way because you're able to customize it. You have a GUI and it provides this friendly GUI for users to interact with their agents. You have another feature in which you have cooperation with human as you're basically able to input your participation with X agent so that you can collaborate to tackle certain tasks. And this, these are just some of the cool features. Now they have stated some couple things, but we'll cover it in the next segment. To speak further on some of the capabilities of X agent, we have the tool server, which is a server that equips X agent with a set of different types of robust and secure tools to tackle a range of different types of tasks. It operates as a Docker container, and what this basically means is that it offers this protective environment in which XAgent can execute its operations. We can see that it offers some of these tools such as a file editor, which provides the text editing tool that can write, read, and modify files. You have the Python notebook, which provides an interactive Python notebook that can run Python code to validate ideas, as well as drawing figures. You have the web browsing feature, which provides you access to the web browser, so you can search and visit different types of web pages. You have the shell, which provides a bash shell tool that can execute any bash commands, or shell commands, sorry, and even install programs and host services. You have the Rapid API, which provides a tool to retrieve APIs from Rapid API, and you're able to call them, which provides a wide range of APIs that XAgent can use. You can see Toolbench to provide, like this is another application that provides the list of different APIs, and it's a platform for providing you different ranges of API callings so that you can utilize it within this collection. Now, it also says that you can also easily add new tools to the tool server to enhance the capabilities. You can see over here, you're able to have and build upon this. And you can see there's a build and setup tool server, which is one of the action pieces to help improve the capabilities. Now, we'll get to the next step of the video and showcase how you can install XAgent. Now, guys, I highly recommend that you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM to actually run this. Otherwise, it's not even feasible to run on your local desktop if you do not have that requirement. If you do fulfill that, we can move forward in the installation process. You need to make sure that you have Git installed, which is an application that will help you clone this repository onto your desktop. You will need Python as your code editor and you will need Docker. So once you have these three things fulfilled, we can move forward with the installation. So what we'll need to do is first go onto the GitHub repository. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. Now, what you wanna do is click on this green button once you're on the repository, copy the link, scroll down, go on to the actual quick start command area, open up your command prompt, type in git clone, paste the link and click enter. I always mess this up in every video, but once you have cloned the repository, what you will need to do is copy this command cd tool server and this is where you're going to be going into the tool server and building the actual docker compose for it now guys actually after you install tool server and clone this repository you need to go into the folder and type in the command docker compose up once this is done you're going to create the docker compose and once this is done you just need to build the docker image for tool server and you're able to start this container once you have started up you can start running and setting up xagent this is by typing in pip install our requirements now this is fairly easy you just go into the xagent file once you're inside paste this command pip install our requirements you're going to be able to start installing these requirements this might take a couple minutes to a couple seconds depending on your computer so once it has finished installing all the requirements, you're able to start running it fairly easily. Now I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code to show and execute how you can run different types of tasks. So I'm going to load this up on Visual Studio Code and I'll be right back. Now to start executing tasks, you will need to open up your code editor or your ID that you can use. In this case, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open the folder up, find where I basically cloned it open up xagent once you have done that 
you trust the authors, you need to go onto the configuration. This is where you input your API keys for whatever model that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be using GPT 3.5. So I'll put my key over here. Once I have used that or saved it, I basically go and click save and you'll be able to start running it. Now, once I have done that, you need to go into the actual uh, terminal and you need to copy this code over here. In this case, you have the run.py. You can easily just run it off of here. It's fairly easy, but in this case, if you want to give it a command as well as run the model that you want, you will need to copy this code and select whatever model that you want to play with. So what you can do is just uh, create a new terminal. I'm just going to open this up a little bit so it's easily accessible. So once I have created a new terminal, you can easily just write paste this command in python run.py. You give it a task, you put your model. So in this case, you can say uh, create me a snake game and the model is right over here I'm gonna use GPT 3.5 so I can put GPT 3.5 and click enter now I don't have my API key connected so it won't work but once I have inputted this it will start executing the task now in this case you can see that it's not gonna be able to do this because I don't have my API key connected but it's easy as that guys once you have input your keys you're able to execute this task now another thing is is that you're able to run this agent with the gui it's fairly easy and what you can do is go onto your command prompt go back into the actual x agent server once you're in that you basically just compose the docker up again once you have done that you just need to install the requirements that are needed install the python start server this is by basically starting the server up and you'll be able to access it on your local host and now guys it will look like this basically it's going to look like exactly like this you're going to you can see that you can input certain types of configurations you can give your input which is can you help me use python to analyze the given data you are able to upload this data and it will then give you a step-by-step -step analysis as to how it can graph it so in this case it gives you a good demonstration as to how it explains the data and it gives you a good use with python and that's basically a good example now let's actually take a look at a cool demo so we can get a better idea as to how, what you can actually do with xagent in this case we have a demo relating to python code in this case the input is i want to play a game of 24 and it basically then uses uh, the plus sign minus sign multiplication division to get 24 using four numbers each number can be used only once please give me 10 examples of combinations of numbers that can get to 24 write the code and show me in this case it executes it it focuses on thoughts reasoning it gives it a plan and it also gives you criticism on what should be associated with the code generation and then uses the different tools and explains to you which tools that they actually use now i don't know about you guys but this is something that i've never seen with any other autonomous agent as it gives you a good breakdown as to how it's going to solve your answer or your input if you go down a little bit more it works forward into doing this 10 more times it has a task refinement which works on improving the task and it shows the milestones that it took to basically achieve the input that was actually given now guys i want to end off on this last note where this diagram above is basically showcasing how x agent x agent sorry outperforms the basic gpt models in different tested areas we can see that it has been able to outperform auto gpt as well in different like areas it fully beats uh, auto gpt in data analysis it beats it in math you have search and reporting life assistant as well as in coding and developing which is really really impressive now it not only beats it with auto gpt but it's able to beat it with gpt's for on ex existing ai benchmarks it's able to do this in many different areas with fresh qa which are fresh question answers you have different metrics as to how it's able to benchmark autonomous AI agents. Now, this is really impressive as to how it's able to like basically compare with these different models as well as the different AI agents. Now, I highly recommend that you check this blog post out as it gives you more details as to how they're basically able to achieve this. 
gives you a good understanding as to its framework and goes further more in detail about XAgent. Now, if you're interested, I'll leave all these links in the description below. But guys, in conclusion, this is quite an intricate application as it's an autonomous agent for complex task solving. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, guys, all the support that you guys have been giving me. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. Definitely give World of AI a follow if you guys have it on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. With that thought, let's get... I well, not let's get to the next step of the video, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested, definitely subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Stay positive and see you soon, guys.